हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू पी डब्ल्यू आइल्स प्रेप दिस इज लव कुमार गुप्ता योर आइल्स एक्सपर्ट एंड वी आर बैक विद अनदर वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ योर एसे इज इवेल्युएटेड सो दैट यू गेट सम हिंट्स दैट वट एग्जैक्टली हैज टू बी डन एंड वट हैज टू बी अवॉइडेड वेन यू राइट एन एसे सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑल राइट गाइज सो लेट्स जस्ट क्विकली लुक एट द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट it says some people believe that healthcare should be free for everyone while others think that people should pay for their medical treatment question says discuss both views and give your opinion so keywords in my question are some people believe healthcare should be free and then it should be paid both views have to be discussed and the person has to give his or her opinion so coming to the response now introduction says healthcare is a fundamental need for every individual some argue that healthcare services should be free for all ensuring that everyone has access regardless of their financial status others believe that individuals should bear the cost of their medical treatment to reduce the burden on the government and improve the quality of services this essay will discuss both perspectives and provide my opinion on the matter very beautifully the person has written a thesis statement which is providing a clear direction to the essay that what is to be expected in the upcoming paragraphs coming to the body paragraph 1 it says proponents of free healthcare argue that it ensures equal access to medical services for everyone regardless of their socio economic status they believe that health is a basic human right and should not be restricted by one's ability to pay free health care can lead to a healthier population which in turn can contribute positively to the economy as healthier individuals are more productive moreover it can prevent financial hardships caused by expensive medical bills which can push families into the poverty so very beautifully the person has written about the advantages that could be there if healthcare is made free coming to the body paragraph 2 on the other hand those who support paid healthcare argue that it can lead to better quality services they believe that when patients pay for their treatment they are more likely to receive timely and efficient services furthermore paid healthcare can reduce the financial strain on the government allowing more funds to be allocated to other critical areas such as education and infrastructure it also encourages individuals to adopt healthier lifestyles to avoid high medical costs so again very carefully and very clearly the person has framed this paragraph using the contrasting connector and there is a central idea within the paragraph which conveys that it is or it could be disadvantages now the person is going to present his or her opinion by in my opinion a mixed approach might be the most effective solution basic health care services should be free to ensure that everyone has access to essential medical care for more specialized treatments a subsidized payment system could be introduced where the cost is shared between the government and the individual this approach can ensure that no one is deprived of necessary health care while also maintaining the quality of services through additional funding from those who can afford it so clearly the opinion has been cited here which should always be there when it is asked coming to the conclusion in conclusion while free healthcare for everyone is an ideal scenario to ensure equal access it is also important to consider the financial sustainability and quality of services a mixed system combining free basic healthcare and paid specialized services could provide a balanced solution that ensures access for all while maintaining high standards in the healthcare sector so this was about the sa and now let's come to the marking criteria the feedback as far as task achievement is concerned and the way person has responded to the task it should be 7 why 
The essay addresses the prompt by discussing both perspectives on free and paid healthcare. The writer provides a clear opinion in the third body paragraph. Example and reasoning are provided to support each and every viewpoint. Second parameter, coherence and cohesion. It also looks like seven. Why? This essay is well organized and clear transition between the paragraphs is there. Each paragraph focuses on a single main idea, making it easy to follow the argument. The introduction and conclusion effectively frame the discussion, which was a requirement of the task. As far as lexical resources are concerned, it also seems to me that it could be seven. The vocabulary used is appropriate and varied with terms such as socioeconomic status, very good collocation, financial hardships, again good collocation, subsidized payment system and financial sustainability are some of the examples of good collocations. There is some repetition but overall the word choice is suitable for the topic. Now last but not least grammatical range accuracy why it could be seven because the essay demonstrates a good range of sentence structures including complex and compound sentences. There are minor grammatical errors but they do not impede the understanding. Tenses are subject tenses and subject verb agreement agreement are also generally accurate. So if I look at the overall score, estimated score of this writer, it should be 7777 from each parameter and dividing it by 4 to calculate the average score of the writer, it should be 7. So that was about the writing evaluation and the components of your essay which should be there always. It could be complex structures, it could be adequate amount of vocabulary and collocations, answering the question requirement adequately and making logical connections and sequencing in your paragraphs and sentences. To know more about writing and writing evaluation and to score well in your writing exam, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Take care.